Yo, Kepe Sky here. What's going on to you? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the final episode of Rhythm Mimic. There is the clone of the G25 HP. This is, if you have been following the channel or following this series, I decided that I wanted to clone this subwoofer here. This is the Rumit G25 HP. I got this, I've been close to a year now. I'll be doing a year review here, one year later review video about this here soon. If you guys know the market, everything supply chain wise is bad. So everything costs a lot more than it should. This is this is a very expensive sub as it is. I bought this for $2,700. It is really close to $3,000 now and it may take a while to get. But this is a phenomenal performer. Watch my reviews on this if you haven't already. I love this thing and I love it so much that I decided to DIY my own. How close can I get to the performance of that G25 HP for as little amount as I can? And I think that I did it. This is Dayton Ultimax, uh, they're dual 15s in a sealed enclosure, and I decided to not only mimic um, the design, but even internally, I copied everything. I sent a picture out to my guy who builds my boxes, usually for car audio, he builds my boxes for me. I told him that I had a home theater sub I wanted to clone, and I took out the subs in this subwoofer, took out the drivers, and took pictures of internals too, showed them all the bracing, the sound deadening, all that stuff. I said, make me this sub. I even called the Rhythmic <laughs> and asked them, hey, tell me some secrets about your subwoofer because I want to clone this. And so I talked to them on the phone a little bit, and I ended up with this beast, this this monster back here. Dayton Ultimax dual 15s on each side. They are wired 8 ohms. They are dual 2 ohm speakers. I wired them together in a uh, series parallel and they are 8 ohms going to my crown. And this is XTI 4000 here. This is giving me crazy amounts of power to that sub. This is, okay, so I think each driver is 800 watts RMS. So a total of 1600 watts um, is that subwoofer. I'm giving it 2,000 watts RMS. So each sub is getting about 1,000 watts or maybe a little bit more. Uh, I think Crown amplifiers are underrated, so I'm getting pretty close to 1,200 watts to each speaker. So this is a beast of a sub. That one here is 1,800 watts RMS, and this one is not far behind it. So it's perfectly built to spec as far as these drivers go. It, I told him that one of my biggest requirements is that it had to be really close to the same size. I didn't want it to be taller. Uh, I didn't care about it being deeper. I wanted it to be, I didn't want it to be taller. So if I did decide to put it up here, it would look very identical and it does. Here in a little bit, I'll put them side by side, but that Crown amplifier is powering the system and man, we have created a monster. Now we need to know how much this cost, right? So with me, I got a little bit lucky. My guy who built my boxes, he's built so many, so he gave me a really good price. But the drivers, I think were $249 a piece. So let's just say $520 for the drivers. And then the box there, I spent probably this by itself, I spent probably, I don't know, under 800. I'll say 750 is how much I spent for this here. 750 for the sub and the box. And then that Crown Amplifier actually got used on eBay. I didn't want to go new because I needed a lot of power. So I went to the used market and I found a perfect condition Crown XTI 4000. And I bought this for, uh, I want to say 400 bucks. Um, so boom, that tells you how much I spent for the whole sub. Just a little bit over a thousand dollars. And that sub by itself cost $2,700. So the sound wise is so close. Like I said, I mimicked the drivers, I mimicked the box size, I mimicked the internal bracing, I mimicked the sound deadening inside, everything to the core. And we managed to get really close to the sound. This one still digs deeper. I can't mimic the DSP, that uh, servo technology that they use on their subwoofers. You cannot copy that. This has DSP applied to it where I can handle the bass, I can up the lower frequencies, I can change, I can tune this the way that I want it. Not so much on there. I can play a little bit, there is a little bit of DSP inside the Crown amplifier, so I can kind of change things, tweak things, set crossover, blah, blah, blah. And my Anthem AVM70 allows me to go in and kind of play with it too. And so I was able to really, really closely match the sound quality and kind of the performance of that one. The biggest difference is that digs deeper even being slightly smaller, it digs deeper, but there's a DSP for that. I did boost 
the lower frequencies too to kind of try to match that. But basically, it's really hard to tell the difference between the two when you're listening blind eye test, just the ear test. It's so hard to hear the difference between the two. Uh, I was able, I spent hours and hours and hours tuning both of these together. I turned that one off, listened to this one, then I would turn this one off, turn that one on, then I would put them together, and then I would turn the back one on, listen to the speakers, watch movies. I did so much tuning to try to match the sound of this one with the Big Boss up front, and it's so, I don't think it can get any closer than that. So I wish I could give you guys a, a true sound demo, but YouTube, of course, doesn't do any justice. But what I will do, I'm gonna put both of the subs side by side so you can see how incredibly similar they look in design and size. And then maybe I'll play like a frequency sweep so you guys can see them move just a little bit. All right, so we have both subs side by side. Got a little light so you guys can see a little bit better. And you guys can see, let me push this back just a little bit. You guys can see that they're very similar. <laughs> and that was the goal, very similar to each other. This one's just painted white with some spray paint and uh, epoxy. And this one, of course, is from Rhythmic. The drivers are incredibly similar. The surrounds are similar. Of course, the size is similar. Power handling is similar. 800 watts RMS versus 900 watts RMS per drivers. So 1800 watts, 1600 watts. But I'm giving it tons more power than that. It's probably more equal to each other. Size-wise, is really close. The height is just about the same. I'll see if I can get level with it. There's your height there. Maybe a slight edge, maybe not. Maybe it is almost exactly the same. But the depth is the big thing which I'm okay with. I put my subwoofer for sideways, not long ways like this. So this is a, a, not a problem to me having it being longer. I had to make it longer, make it bigger overall because of what these required space wise, cubic feet wise. So there's maybe four or five more inches there, but that's completely okay with me. Height was the big thing and it is, is spot on. So these come with grills, white uh, mesh grills. I uh, don't have grills for this, obviously, but if I ever wanted to use them, I would probably just buy some ones for Rhythmic and uh, put some inserts in there if I wanted to have grills on them, but I don't think that I ever will because they match the Canton black look to it. So this is the beast that we have created. What I'm going to do now, I have my phone paired up to the Anthem AVM70 in the closet there. I'm just going to play some lower frequencies because YouTube, you're not going to really hear the bass in here. So I'm just going to play like sub 20, 20 hertz, 15 hertz, whatever, and turn it up pretty good so you guys can get some excursion out of this. Take a look at it. All right, 20 hertz is on. Pretty decent volume, nothing crazy. But you guys can see just a little bit of excursion. It's moving a lot faster to me than it is to you because of the frame weight that I'm using. But the beauty about dual opposed sealed subwoofers is that it does not vibrate. I don't have any feet on any of the subs. They have um, some carpet sliders here that go underneath them so I can slide it around. But because of them being built the way they are, they don't vibrate. They cancel each other out. So. There is no vibrations going through the floor. Some people like that, but look, little keychain. This is very slick. Like one finger, you can kind of just push this where you want to. Very slick surface. It doesn't vibrate whatsoever. And so that is incredible. You guys can't hear in the room, but there's a lot of pressure in here. Like a lot, a lot of bass in here. And that's just this subwoofer. Now, like I said, dual post, there is a driver on the other side there. So this is just a, it's just a beast of a sub. Both of these subs are beasts, especially this one, but I think we've gotten so close to this, to the, to the power and the, uh, the sound quality of this one. I'm so happy to have this. And I saved a lot of money instead of buying a second one, which eventually I will still do. So I'm so happy with this. So if I had to give this like a frequency response rating, the rhythmic sub gets down to 12 Hertz, no problem. It's very flat, very controlled. This one's very controlled too, and this is also very flat, but doesn't dig quite as deep. I'd say this one gets more like 16 or 15 hertz of usable output. It does roll off really quickly compared to that one. 
Um, that's because it's a DIY sub, not completely built like that one is, and it's not DSP controlled the way this one is with the servo technology. So this one does dig a little bit deeper and play louder at lower volumes, or excuse me, at lower frequencies. This one plays low too, more like 16 hertz, 15 hertz, more on the lines of like a, I don't know, maybe like a SB Ultra from uh, maybe like SVS, something like that. It gets that kind of low, um, but that one definitely takes the cake for overall performance. This one's still a better sub, but this is incredibly close for half of the price tag, less than half the price tag uh, of this one here. Uh, it gets up pretty high in the frequency range though. It has a really strong mid bass presence. I had to tune out. This one had a lot more mid range bass, like 60, 70, 80, 90 Hertz up to like maybe 200. It was very, very vivid amounts of bass compared to that one. So I had to tame that pretty significantly in the ARC uh, room correction software and I ended up getting it to blend really, really well. So I do actually have a third sub. It is the Definitive Technology DN10. This is also a sealed subwoofer. It's a 10 inch driver and two dual passive radiators on the side. So everything in here is sealed and they play very nicely together. But that one, man, I just, <laughs> I'm gonna have to bring you guys over. It is a beast of a sub. This one, of course, sits over there. That one is my near field behind the couch. And that one kind of evens out the base um, when you're kind of over here in this area walking around the room. Just adds a little more oomph. And I did a lot of subwoofer crawling. I spent hours and hours, days and days, finding different placements for each sub. And this is where it landed. That sub's out of a corner. This sub's not in a corner. And this rhythmic is kind of close to a corner, but kind of pulled out a little bit. So I'm getting a really smooth, really nice, even response. And the blend is so good. I can't tell from what's from which sub to another. They all sound like they're just one big sub coming from the front of the room. And that's what I love about this. So that's gonna end project rhythmic you'll see this sub in other videos so if you guys want me to do demos or something talk about this i can but this does it for the project we officially have clone the g25 hp i think this thing is a solid performer i maybe i'll build another one and just have a whole bunch of these um and i don't know this costs a lot but i would like to have another one of those but we'll see maybe i'll make another one of these and pair it with the crown amplifier and to just have another diy ultimax sub uh, but with that being said, guys, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my project. Do you guys like my build? What do you guys think about it? Leave me that answer down below in the comment section. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already. We will see you in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace. Lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.